Welcome. This is going to be a very important video for someone who is getting started in IT. And usually a lot of time we have two questions that are very confusing. How do I learn IT? And when do I know I'm ready for IT jobs? So let's kick in and go with the first question. How do I learn IT? Now, this is a, uh, even before this, this is, there's another question that who should I learn IT with? And that is totally, everybody have different personal uh, opinions and personal ways of learning. Some people are good with videos. Some people are good with practical hands-on. Some people are good with books. So it's really up to your learning style. And the, the learning style that we recommend and we promote is video and practical approach on specific job roles or for specific job roles. This means that if we are going to be uh, you know, promoting IT support, then it's going to be only for the IT support role. So then we're not losing that focus. I have seen so many members, they join our membership, then because we have a very large access, such as IT support, systems administration, networking, and on and on and on, they jump around to different roadmaps. And that's very confusing. So we like to basically tell our members that only target the role and the roadmap that you need to prepare yourself for. And that is where you're, you, it's going to become very easy for you to learn. Now, even before this, there's another thing that a lot of people go with like one IT professional that they see them very successful in their career. They just go and say, hey, what did you do? So I want to be like you. Now, that's great. We are, we, are, we are not saying anything negative about that. Somebody can give you information step by step. But at the end of the day, that IT professional is not a trainer. They are not skills development professionals. They are not experts in this area. They do not spend time for, on a mental health uh, if that person, uh, you know, is really good at X, Y, Z and they have done that and they have achieved their goals and roles and they moved up, that doesn't mean that you are going to be able to take the same level of stress, same level of searching, same same level of doing, uh, learning the way they did it. So this is where I always tell people that go with multiple skills development platform because the people like us, we deal with different type of people, different type of organizations on daily and weekly basis. This is our job. This is why we have spent 10 years to develop something. And it's a lot of work, a lot of work. It's not a normal IT job over here. It's a lot of mindsets. It's it's like understanding somebody's different way of learning. So there's a lot to it. So I would definitely recommend you to do your research first and don't just listen to one specific individual because they may have done it. Let's say one will say, I did it because of certification. Now you start doing certification. The individual is not going to sit with you and then prepare you for what else that individual have done outside of certification, they won't have that sort of time. And not a lot of people even give that sort of time. Unless somebody's really good and they start teaching you, that's a different thing. But in most cases, that's not going to be the case. So I like you, to, uh, I would want our members to do your research, use your common sense, and then do a lot of review checking and look into the platform yourself. Don't just like, you know, assume things, go into the platforms, touch the labs, open the courses and see if it really makes sense to you. This is where you're going to basically make that mindset that, okay, this is good for me. They are step by step. And that's how we have been doing it. So my recommendation to our members are that first, make sure you check uh, everything before you make any decisions for career roles. Okay. So this is very important for our members. I have seen so many people that get stuck in this one area. When they start learning something for IT, they want to learn every tiny, tiny details out there in the books, in the courses, in the videos, and it is never ending thing. I will tell everybody over here that if somebody claimed that they have 20 years of experience, no one can go back and say that I know every single thing that they have done in A plus 20 years ago almost 60% that would have forgotten those tiny, tiny details. And some of, some of it is irrelevant at this point. So my suggestion to everybody is that you want to go through things. Yes, you want to understand things, but you, you, there's a limit to it. If you go through a certain topic and you do your research, use chat, GPT, AI, another AI, Google, whatever. And if you got a basic point of that specific topic, you don't need to go and break it down so you become a master of it. 
The IT managers don't care about little tiny money things. They care about the basics and fundamentals. They value practical training that makes you easier to teach. Not a lot of people have time to come and sit and show you the theory and OSI model on the job. They think that you know this at the basic level. You understand things. You know the ba basic uh, IP uh, configuration. You know how to troubleshoot computer. Not at the master level again. Like a lot of people get stuck in this area. I've seen so many people that get into uh, learning and then they think that I need to know every single thing to be able to do my job. You you can do that every single thing to pass the exam if you want to, but again, nobody can claim that you need an A plus certification or a degree or even JSS training to land the first job. You can land the first job in many, many ways. There are many doors to get into IT. So do not get into this trap of you learning every tiny, tiny, single thing inside the computer that you need to become an IT professional. And then you think, how do I, how will I basically, uh, you know, do my job? And that's where the next part comes in. When do I know I'm ready for IT job? When do you know you're ready for IT job is when you have the basic understanding of tell me about yourself. This is a question. And you should be able to give them the basic answers that I know X, Y, Z from the trainings. If it's our training, you will talk about it like such as like, you know, installing operating system, managing Active Directory, troubleshooting operating systems, a basic software installation, and then server understanding network, domain network management. Like, you know, for example, just you knowing what is a domain and what is a work group, what is the difference, Office 365 management. These are the things that you will cover from a practical courses. In our in our training it takes three to four months for people to learn a lot of things but we never tell people that in that three to four months you have to retain every single thing that you have done in these labs it's a lot of labs that's going to be almost crazy uh, for someone to retain that sort of information but when you do this three to four months you're doing you're doing a repetitive work you're doing repetitive tasks and that is important for anybody that is new to it repetitiveness is a part of this career if you do not believe in this if it annoys you i'm sorry to say you're in a wrong career you are going to see password resets like millions of times hundreds of times you're going to see troubleshooting same way again and again you're going to come uh, come across ip v4 and then DHCP, DNS type of things, almost a whole career. Repetitiveness is IT. And you don't just go there and make your own IT things in this. Yeah, you may just connect two or three different techniques or softwares or troubleshooting in a different way, but you don't go, you just don't go there and make your own operating systems over here. That's not what we do in IT. You're going to do the things that are people have given to you, people have done it before you, and you're going to do it repeatedly again and again in different ways. And that's where you become a master of it. And one day you'll realize that you're so good that you don't need to read a lot of books. Once you go through something like documentation, you will understand the idea and then you will follow the documents and you will be able to perform that project. Sysadmins, network engineer, they don't just sit there and read the whole book before they do a project. They only understand the documentation the vendor have provided to them. How do we do this? We're not some, like if somebody give me a brand new project and I have no clue about that project, am I that kind of superman that i would know everything uh like because i've done all these tiny money training no that's because i've developed this mindset that okay it is like that there's going to be new product there's going to be new softwares and they will have documentation and they're going to give it to me i will try it the first time i will do mistakes i might do uh, come across errors i'm going to call the vendor they'll teach me new things and then i'm going to slowly slowly do it so many times that i will get good at it so it's the repetitive the repetitiveness that gives us confidence it's the repetitiveness that someone can claim that i'm good in it nobody can claim that i just came out of the the you know like a baby and now i know everything in it so i want to give this conference to our members please do not get stuck in this whole trap of repetitiveness i need to do a, a, a plus certification then i'm gonna get a job no we have done this for 10 years 10 years is a long time and that's your job to go and do the research and how long we have been in this industry and then create the mindset and you have to go with it unfortunately if that mindset is not getting created and you are you don't believe in that sort of things 
then the things are going to be hard even if you get a job then again small things are going to give you cause you a lot of trouble uh, going up in this career and everywhere you're going to see that perfection you're going to see that mastery and this is not existed in it there that may be a thing of the past but there are so many different products so many different skill set that no one can become a master of one thing in it you got to know the mixture and the mixture has to be done in a smart way you know the basics you know the foundation then let just wait for the company to give you the 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 softwares and everything and documentation they they will tell you what uh, technology to focus on when you get to that work but of course you should do what we have been going through for the past 10 years we know Active directory is required office 365 is required windows 10 troubleshooting is required and then going up in the networking and systems administration the same way we for the past 10 years we have collected their data we have worked with hundreds of hundreds of thousands of engineers and we have collected their data and that is again and again it gets repeated repeated again and again and people are being successful like that so if you're new to it these are the tips for you i hope you took some notes from it and just go with your training first and once you finish your training, the practical training is most important. Once you do that, you're going to become very confident. And then if there's something is bothering you, you do more research on it.